Hey, girlies. Last week, Gabriella was transformed into a girl by her high school bully. Let's see if she can navigate the challenges of womanhood. Enjoy the video. As Gabriella started walking home, all of her feelings came crashing down. She felt more confused than angry at that moment. Her chest had become more and more sensitive. Her bare and sensitive chest rubbed against the fabric of her sweatshirt, kept reminding her of her new figure, as much as Gabriella didn't want to admit it. Mike was right. If she was going to spend a month as a girl, she needed to buy some underwear at the very least. As Gabriella was walking, she couldn't help but feel like she was being watched. It felt like everyone knew her secret. She had finally made it to her street. She decided against driving to the mall since her driver's license photo looked nothing like her current appearance. When the Uber driver approached, he rolled his window down and asked Gabriel. Yes, she replied in her new feminine voice. As she stepped into the back of the car, she could feel the driver eyeing her. She had never felt so uncomfortable by someone's gaze. The driver interrupted the silence with a question. So isn't Gabriel a man's name? he asked. Yes, she said, it's just misspelled on the app. No matter, he replied, I will just call Gabby. Gabriella wanted to open the door and roll out of the car at that moment. Her bitter expression must have been noticed by the driver because he replied, You should try to smile more, miss. You are way too pretty to be sad. Gabriella hated every part of that sentence. It was as if Mike had planted this man. Fortunately, the ride was over. Gabriella mustered a quiet thank you and quickly left the vehicle. She entered the mall through the department store entrance. As she walked through the central aisle, she glanced at the woman's section. She couldn't help but wonder how they would fit on her. However, she had no intention of being financially responsible with Mike's money. She decided to skip the department store and check out the more premium stores. She wanted to stick it to him in whatever way she could. As she roamed, checking out the stores, she could feel herself watched. However, it wasn't the male gaze this time. She could feel other women eyeing her. She could feel them judging her baggy clothes, hair and makeup. As a man, he had always felt invisible. No one really cared about this clothes or his looks one way or the other. As she walked, she finally came across a women's underwear shop. The young woman inside glanced at Gabriella and said, Hello, miss. How can I help you today? No, Gabriella replied awkwardly. She started browsing her options. This store had many choices. Brelettes, sports bras, lingerie. They were pricey too. Gabriella didn't remember man's underwear being this expensive. She couldn't make sense of the prices. Oh well, she thought it's Mike's money anyway. As she was browsing, she could tell the store assistant was watching her. The assistant slowly approached her and asked, are you finding everything okay? Gabriella replied yes, but she didn't sound so confident. I don't think this size would fit you, the assistant said in an enthusiastic tone. I know it could be a challenge for us well-endowed girls to find a bra that fits. Gabriella didn't know how to feel. On one hand, she could tell the assistant just wanted to be helpful. But the comment about her bust size kept reminding her of the predicament she was in. Her train of thought was interrupted by the assistant. Miss, have you ever been measured before? Do you know your size? No, said Gabriella rather quietly. If you come over to the changing area, we can measure you and find you a bra that fits. She started following the assistant. Her helpful tone and attitude were magnetizing. When they got into a stall, she asked Gabriella to take off her top. When Gabriella hesitated, she reassured her and said, I'm sorry, miss. I can't take the measurement over your thick sweatshirt. We have privacy here. When Gabriella finally took her sweatshirt off, she couldn't believe what stared back at her in the mirror. There was no denying that she was well endowed. Whatever pill Mike gave her made sure she couldn't hide her bust very easily. Her thoughts were once again interrupted by the assistant. Please stand upright, miss. My name is Cindy, by the way. I am Gabriella, she replied. I can tell you why you prefer baggy clothes, Gabriella. It's hard for us to find nice clothes that fit, huh? You can be sure we will find you a bra that fits today. I can recommend you some shops for clothing. I know how hard it can be to find cute tops that are both comfy and fitting. 
If you don't mind, of course, she added as she took measurements. Of course, replied Gabriella. She didn't want to seem too interested, but the assistant was so lovely to her, she didn't want to come off as harsh. You should check out the garage down at the ground level. They are having a fall sale. I love their selection. I will, Cindy, thanks, replied Gabriella. I got what I need. Let me bring you some sample bras, Cindy said, and left the stall. Gabriella was still mesmerised by her own figure, her newly grown chest and her new waist. She could not believe this was her life now, even though it was only for a month. Cindy rushed back into the room with three bras in her hand. Here, Gabriella, try these on. She had brought a lace bralette, a red full-coverage bra, and a white lace push-up bra that looked more like lingerie than a bra. Gabriella closed the stall door and started with the bralette. When she put on the bralette, she was surprised how well it fit. Cindy must have been good at her job because this felt like the perfect size. It certainly felt more comfortable than not wearing one, as the weight of her chest was putting a lot of load on her back. She looked at the red bra on the bench and decided to try it on as well. This one held her chest more firmly. She felt better supported, almost like she was being hugged. This bra also fit like a glove. She felt really comfortable. Just as Gabriella was appreciating herself in the mirror, Cindy asked from outside, Everything fit okay, miss? Gabriella said yes softly as she opened the stall door slightly. She was still a little skittish about other people seeing her. However, Cindy made her feel comfortable. Gabriella could tell Cindy was also appreciating her choices. You should try the blue one as well, said Cindy. Gabriella closed the door and picked up the light blue lacy push-up bra. She could tell this was best suited for special occasions. As she put it on, she could tell that this one really worked with her figure and accentuated her bust. Although she had no intention of wearing it, she decided to keep it in her basket. I mean, it was Mike's money anyways, so who cares? She decided to wear the red ones again since they provided the best comfort. When Gabriella opened the door again, Cindy was holding the matching panties for these bras. Although she had not thought about it too much, her boxers were too tight at the hips and too loose at the front region due to the obvious loss she had suffered. She handed the other two bras to Cindy and picked the red panties from her hands. She went into the stall to change again. Her baggy sweatpants hid it, but she could tell she had become curvy. Mike's pills had made sure she had become as womanly as possible. She got out of the stall and walked to the cashier. Cindy asked cash or card as she handed her the bag. Card replied Gabriella. Cindy handed her a gift card with the receipt. Cindy said, you get a $15 gift card for every $100 you spend. You can use it until the end of the month, she added. Thanks, Cindy, said Gabriella and left. As she started to walk towards the escalators, she realised how much more comfortable she felt. She also felt like people weren't staring at her as much anymore. I guess people notice when a girl with a big chest walks around without a bra, she thought. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to follow us on other social media. Enjoy your girly day.